<laughs> That's a monster. Get to our leaving point where we're going down the valley, right down for about 15 kilometers to um, a river. And we're going to do some trout fishing down there. Now it's a long way, but we follow a creek all the way down. So it's quite a lot of rock hopping. Um, but I can't wait, I haven't done this for 10 years. So I'm really, really excited to uh, go back to my old haunts down near where I used to live in Sydney. And we have come down a very, very long dirt road to this car park. And this is the last point um, where civilization is and everywhere down there is all wilderness. So we're gonna be spending four days um, hiking in the Blue Mountains. Pen. You can see that glow inside the bottle. It's an ultraviolet light that kills all the bacteria from all the animal poop and stuff like that that could be in the river. I have been sick by these rivers before, thinking that the water is perfectly clear, but uh, I don't take any chances anymore. So this thing's really good. The water's clear enough. It doesn't have to be filtered, but I would um, definitely kill it for its parasites because it's not much, um, not much fun coming down here and uh, having things coming out both ends. So better be safe than sorry. Yeah, both been there before. Sure have. Hear the bellbirds. I love this. We call this part the bellbird forest. It might not be named that, but it's just so beautiful. After quite a long walk and my legs are sore, we have finally made it to our river. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to be here, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful place. Oh man. How exciting. The river looks fantastic. degrees out of the water so uh, it's got to be colder in the water oh, that was cold
starting to seize up. I am getting really, really stiff. We just went for a little preliminary walk to a couple of rapids to see if there's any fish. There's quite a bit of carp here actually. Um, and uh, in between those carp, there's the odd decent sized trout. And we had a few good follows. So tomorrow when we go out for a nice hike, uh, we will have a really good chance of catching quite a few fish, I would imagine. So um, just need to get some more water into me. Good food tonight, good sleep and get these legs rested because I am very sore from that hike down. It's not just a trail that hikes, that you hike on step over step, it's boulders and boulders and boulders. So you've got to step over root tree roots, over boulders and try not to slip. It's just, it's a really hard walk actually. And um, I'm so glad to be down here. It's been 10 years and um, it's just such a nice feeling to be back to a place that I used to come to all the time. Uh, a couple of months ago though, there was a really, really big flood that came through here and all of the beautiful grass that we usually camp on has just been washed away. And um, so the river is back to normal as now, but um, <clears throat> that's a good sign because it really means that the river has been healthy and the trout will have moved up. So when we get into it tomorrow properly, we will, should be able to catch some decent fish. So um, I'm pretty excited for that. Just boiling some water on the billy and uh, get some more water in, into me. I was hoping that I'd be able to take you guys on a, a journey of seeing us catch many trout, but uh, it seems to be that the river's not really full of trout, but um, we did get a few. So I thought I'd just take you through what happened because um, we didn't get to film. I did so much filming of us casting, but never when we got a hookup. So I um, just wanted to talk about the couple of hookups we got. Oh, sorry. We, uh, we fished a bit of yesterday and then didn't catch a single thing except for tiny, tiny little tiddlers. And um, today we did the big hike downstream and uh, we were fishing many of the rapids and it didn't really, there wasn't a lot of fish. Usually when you see spawning fish, they're usually sitting in the rapids and sitting in pools and you can see them quite clearly. Um, these, the fish that we caught, we didn't see. Um, and the very, very first fish I caught um, was probably, I'll, sh I'll show you the footage. We didn't get the footage of hookup, but um, I did catch one of the biggest trout I think I've ever caught here. And we walked about 10 kilometers down that river. And um, that big fish we caught <laughs> just down there next, at the next rapid. So, um, just goes to show you don't need to go a long way if you want to catch fish you just got to be lucky we were lucky today and that fish oh man it would have been about a seven pounder um six to seven pound one of the biggest fattest and highest backed um pregnant uh, rainbow trout i've seen in this river and uh, i was very very lucky to catch it so uh that one went back i let him go because he was uh she was sorry um full of row and ready to spawn so I'd like to see more fish come back up this river and with those big spawners um, they lay more eggs and there's more chance of more fish so we let that one go we could have eaten it but a seven pounder I do believe would be a bit dry a bit not so nice um, in the flavor and I was in the hoping um, stages that we would catch more fish I thought we would we would catch them so I, I let it go anyway and I would never eat one that big 
So I said, don't worry Nick, we'll, we'll catch another one. So went a little bit further down and um, a lot of a lot of casting between between fish and then finally I caught a uh, a nice sized rainbow perfect for eating um, oh actually sorry firstly I caught this little guy which is just legal I put him on a stick we're gonna smoke him over the fire for a couple of hours or an hour and I've uh, been salted up and it's ready to uh, ready to start slowly cooking but anyway um, <clears throat> after I caught straight after I caught that guy I caught a nice two and a half pounder that's probably perfect for us both to eat so I won't let this little guy go to waste I uh, will definitely eat him because I do enjoy eating my trout so tonight we're gonna feast on trout and um, other bits and pieces of food Pretty cooked and very juicy still. I think it's perfect actually. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's half smoked. That's ridiculous. It's very, very nice. It's not until you come to it that you remember how hard a hike this is in. I mean out. My legs are all jelly. And we're back to the Bellbird Forest, but We've just been walking a slow incline for the last, I don't know, 10 kilometers. And uh, the worst is yet to come, which is what we call Cardiac Hill. 